In this video, we are going to talk about classes in Python. So far, we have discussed a lot of details on Python, at least the basic building blocks. But classes is one place in our automation testing we will be using a lot. Because in automation testing, we need to work with something like page object model in Selenium. And we also need to maintain the test in a separate file. And we also need to have some utilities files and properties files and stuff. So classes is super important so that we can really segregate our code in multiple different files and we can use from there. But to start or begin with, instead of going through this inheritance or modules concept, I'm actually going to start with a very, very super simple class because that's where we can actually see how we can actually work with it. And again, because we all know that this Python is basically an object oriented programming language, classes are one of the most intrinsic part of Python as well, like any oops oriented programming language like Java or C sharp. So the first thing I'm going to do is and I'm going to create a class called as example class dot py. And over here, I'm going to start creating the classes. The template of creating a class is very, very simple. So once I do this class, you can see that there is a code snippet coming in. You can use that, but I'm not going to use it for now because we'll start it from the scratch. And let's call this class as login page. We all know that there is no braces in Python. So just use colon and you can see that it becomes green underscore, which means it's a class. Super cool. And once I hit enter, you can define or start defining the members within this particular class. So the members of the class is nothing but it can be a function, it can be a variable, it can be a condition, whatever it is. I mean, it's up to you whatever you're going to define within this particular class. And that particular code is going to reside within this particular login page class. And there is also something called as hyphen hyphen init. We'll talk about it a bit later. But as of now, let's start creating or working with the login page. So for instance, for the login page, let's say I have a function, which is going to be performing a login operation, where I'm going to pass the username and password. For using a function within a class, you need to have what is called as a self keyword within a function as the first parameter within a function. This is one of the rules that you need to follow in the Python, which is not the case in any programming language, but just that in Python, you have these rules to be used like self, which means this is belonging to this particular class login page. So this function is basically belonging to this class login page. And here I'm going to pass the username and password, and I'm going to return the value of username concatenated with the password, something like this. So just an example, don't worry about it. This method is not doing anything intelligent at the moment. So that's it. This is one of the method within this particular login class. And similarly, there can be any number of method within this particular class. And I'm also going to create one more function here. I'm going to call this as login with secret. And this guy is going to do something like an username, password, and he's going to basically do a secret operation for us but we'll understand about it a bit later. But as of now, just bear with me. We are going to expand this particular method in a minute. But as of now, let it be over here. You'll understand why I'm doing this. And now I need to call this particular class so that that's how the whole logic completes, right? In order to call a class within Python, it is like pretty much like how you can do with other programming language. In Python, it is so simple that you can just do something like uh, login, is equal to, you can see that the login page comes in. There is something called as a new keyword, which you use in other programming language like Java or C sharp. You can just call the class name as login page, something like that. You can see that it tells me that it's a class login page. That's it. There is no semicolon. We know that. And then you can just do this login dot. You can see that whole lot of things comes in. And it also brings me up the login method. So you can see that there is a differentiation, small l. This is a capital L, maybe probably I need to change this to L so that it differentiates much clearly. L dot, and you can see that the login comes in. 
So this is the method which is coming from this particular uh, login page class. Uh, so login, and if I open a braces, you can see that the self is gone. The self that we wrote as a first argument of this function is gone. It's not displayed in here. You need to just pass the username and password. That's what I said. I mean, the self is the mandatory parameter as the first parameter of function that you need to pass in a class. So don't worry about it. You need to only worry about the username and password, which is, let's say I'm going to use the username as admin and password as password. I'm just going to save it. And now if I want to print this particular value, you probably know what you need to do. Just print like that. And now if I execute this particular piece of code, it's just going to execute like how it works, works the other classes as well. So maybe I'm just going to clear this example class at pi. If I hit enter, you can see that it prints me up the admin password, which is nothing but this one. The admin and password is being printed for us from a class. So this is how we can create a class. You can call a member of a class from here. And the next up, something very, very important is I need to somehow, maybe, probably, I want to have a constructor kind of stuff within the Python. So there is nothing basically called as a constructor in Python where you can initialize the variables or members within a class. But there is something called as def underscore underscore init function, which is basically going to initialize the values within a class during its loading. So it's going to initialize for the first time, basically. So I need to, of course, pass the self as the first parameter. And then let's say I need to pass some value within this particular login page class. So I can just pass this secret. So that's why I told you the secret is something which I created earlier for this purpose only. So now I'm going to do something like this. Self dot secret is equal to the secret value which I'm going to pass in for this particular init method or doing initialization purpose. And now this self dot secret is nothing but a variable within this login page class. And now I can actually use this variable within another method because it is now available for me globally and it's been initialized as well. So I can just return the username plus like that, plus the password. And let's say I need to append the secret as well. See, I get the secret value as well, which is pretty cool, right? So you now see that once this class has been initialized, it is gonna, we need to pass or supply the secret value so that it's gonna then get that value secret into it and it's gonna print that particular value for us, appending into this particular variable. So let's try to call this and see how it actually works. So maybe I'm just gonna save it and let's try to run the existing code that we wrote. And you see, it cuts an error here. It tells me that I'm missing one required positional parameter, secret. Where am I missing? Because we have created an init function, which is more like a constructor with a parameter, if you just relate with other programming language, you need to now pass a argument to this class. Once I open this, can you see now I get a secret there? That's important. You need to pass that. If not, it's not going to work. So let's say I'm just going to pass a secret like dollar, 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 something like that. Just going to save it. And now if I try to run our existing code, it's going to work, but the secret is not printed because we haven't printed that. So I'm just going to call the new method, which is nothing but login with secret, right? And I'm going to pass the value. Maybe this time the username is going to be supervisor. And the password is going to be super pass. I'm going to save it. And once you print this value, you know what's going to happen. There is going to be an appended dollar, dollar, dollar for the super pass. Can you see that? So it's working as well. So this is how we can actually work with a class in Python. So this is the basic way, guys. This is how we can work with the classes in Python. But in our next video, we'll see how we can work with inheritance. And then we'll understand how we can use something called as a base page for the login page and use it.
again, these are something related to the automation, right? We do it a lot in automation testing. We'll be discussing about that in our next video. Thank you.